when we llm meets transformers great things happen now you can have direct support for vllm in transformers library and i believe that is a huge news for developers who are building ai powered applications with vision models now you can use the best of both worlds this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel if this is the first time you are visiting the channel please like the video and subscribe as that helps a lot now not only i am going to tell you what exactly this integration means i will also be showing you a hands on demo a local demo which i will be running on this ubuntu system with code and i will be using this gpu card which is nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram you don't need that much vram for this demo even you can run it on cpu but if you are looking to rent a gpu on very very cheap prices you can find the link to mast compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of gpus and very quickly i also want to introduce you to our very good friend that agent who are sponsoring this video agent is the world's first multi agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks okay so let's first have a quick look at what is vllm it is a high performance library designed to make llm or vllm now inference very very fast efficient and scalable it's built with a focus on optimizing memory usage and throughput especially for models with billions and billions of parameters one of its key innovation is paged attention which is a memory management technique inspired by virtual memory in operating systems which allows vllm to handle multiple concurrent requests with much higher efficiency than traditional llm serving systems this means faster response times lower latency and better utilization of gpu resources making it ideal for deploying llms in production environments like chatbots apis or ai agents i have covered vllm in hundreds of videos over the last couple of years i would say and if you are looking to get it installed locally just watch this second video after searching with vllm on my channel and you should be able to get it run up and running in no time so i am assuming that for the purpose of this video you already have installed and as i have said if you don't know how to do that just watch this second video after searching vllm and then next comes transformers the transformers library by hugging face is a widely used open source toolkit that provides easy access to thousands of pre-trained machine learning models especially for nlp vlm and the list goes on and on and on there are various modalities which are supported it also supports popular architectures from across the board it also offers a clean unified api for tasks like text generation classification translation and again the list goes on for all the modalities and i have done heaps of videos on transformers this is built on pytorch tensorflow and jax and it simplifies model loading tokenization and fine tuning so it is sort of a go to go to tool these days now what is meant by integrating this vllm with this transformers as i said the integration between transformers and vllm combines the best of both fields transformers provides a user friendly flexible interface for loading and pre processing models and data while vllm delivers lightning fast production ready inference since vllm supports models from the hugging face hub directly users can take a model defined via transformers and run it in vllm with minimal code changes often just swapping the engine that's it this means that you get transformers ease of use and broad model support plus vllm superior speed memory efficiency and scalability especially under heavy load it's a powerful combo for anyone looking to deploy state of the art llms efficiently without sacrificing developer productivity so now you know what is happening now vllm i already told you how to get it installed for transformer all all you have to do is to use pip install transformers and then you should be able to install it fairly quickly so 
just go and install it like that once you have it then simply run this code in order to do the inference with vllm now look at this code it's a typical simple python code I am importing all the libraries which we have installed and of course you would need to install pillow which is pip install pillow because we are dealing with images for model grab any model the vision model from hugging face just its repo name and model name specify any image from your local system i'm just going to go with this the local image of bear from my uh, local disk and then the prompt is what is in the image we are loading the processor which is applying all the tokenizer chat template and all that stuff and then this is a message template which we are going to use very typical one then we are specifying some of the hyperparameters. we are calling this vlm object which we have uh, sort of you know got from above and from there we are simply calling the llm and that's about it so you, if you go up this is the one where we are importing this vllm from vllm so this is how easy it has become to integrate both so it is going to read that image and it is going to return as the result so if i take you there and if i just run maybe app.py first up it is going to download the model because if it, this is the first time and then afterwards it is going to use transformers the transformers is being used to download the model here and its tokenizer and all the config once that's done it is going to load it onto my gpu as you will see there you go and the model should be very small one so now it is the model is being downloaded just under 2 gig it is loaded onto the gpu and now it is using vllm to do the inference and you can see that it is just consuming 1.68 uh, gpu of vram in this line where my mouse is and now this is the one where it has says a brown beer is in the image so it has done the inference and if i quickly show you that image too from my local system it should be somewhere here let me go there and grab it this is the one which it has selected and as i said you can use any image with it any model of course this is a very small very very basic model for vision but the purpose was not to test the model but to show you how you can integrate this stuff very very easily so that's it let me know what do you think i think once you have this basic right you can build a lot of powerful ai applications on top of it and um, sky is the limit here try it out let me know what do you think and again my very very um, humble request please like the video subscribe to the channel and share it among your network as that is the only marketing I do. Thank you very much for all the support.